This is St John the Baptist Church in Maysbury, Shropshire. It was built in 1906 from a kit bought by Harrods Emporium of London. And uh, it's had a shelf life of 50 years, but uh, it's been going for 114 years now. So amazing, amazing building. Unfortunately, as with all churches we come across at the moment, they're still closed for because of COVID. So, which is a shame. I'd love to have gone inside and had a look. Not this time, then. Oh, we went for a bus ride yesterday <laughs> into Oswestry because we needed some new clothes. I need a, a winter jacket that's waterproof and we both need various tops to keep us warm in the winter but we didn't buy any clothes did we? There weren't any any decent clothes shops really um, it's just things there's some things that you have to buy new but there just wasn't any clothes shops no, there were there but there, wasn't. there was a, a really bookshop good bookshop called Booker B-O-O-K-A -O Booker in Oswald Street what a fab bookshop, wasn't it? Bookshop and a cafe, really lovely, helpful ladies in there. It wasn't just a cafe, they had chairs and tables dotted all around the bookshop, upstairs and downstairs, so you could sit where you like, with your cup of coffee and your slice of cake, and put greasy marks all over the books. <laughs> well, we got carried away, didn't we? Yeah, we, we came home, well, originally bought five books. And then we went back to buy another one for our granddaughter and found another one that we liked. But instantly found all these books that really appealed to us. It was just... Yeah. Um, and signed copies, some of them were as well. They obviously have events in there. So all was not lost. The day was saved because we got books. Yeah. <laughs> and we had uh, fish and chips, didn't we? Yeah. For the second time in three weeks. Yeah. And we very rarely have fish, but uh, fortunately it was... A Bit of all right, wasn't it? It was a bit of all right, yeah. I think that's even, a cockney term, actually. I guess it'd be a the brummie. Fish were, fish, even if the size of the fish was a little parsimonious. It was like a big fish finger, really. Yeah. <laughs> we had a good day out, though. It made a nice change, didn't it? it? Yeah, it did. We don't mind every now and again. And it is actually a really interesting little town. There's lots of craft shops and art uh -oh. shops as well. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no, the cows are coming. Come on. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> oh, no, buddy. Jess, Archie, come here. Shit, yeah. Get. Hey. Don't anybody ever tell us cows won't go for you. Look at this lot. Fucking. Yeah. 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 Go on, hon. Get! Oh. Yeah! Well, that was a bit uh, unnerving. We've uh, just been chased down by, God, how many? 50, 60 bullocks coming right up close to us and bucking, kicking their back legs and frightening the wits out of us. So, yeah, folks, cows do come at you. And don't anybody tell me they don't. <laughs> They this were isn't... a couple of feet from us at one point. Yeah, it's not the first time this has happened to us, to be honest. So uh, we'll just retrace our steps and give up on the walk on this path. Well, we're continuing with our walk. They've buggered off to the far side of the field, down in a dip, so we can't see them. We've only got a little way to get through the gate. 
but we were only because of the hedge behind us we were surrounded by the cows i think if we'd been in the middle of a field we would have been surrounded and i don't know what we would have done they weren't just walking up to us to, <clears throat> inquisitively they were running at us and bucking their back legs it was uh, interesting to say the least oh, is that what you call it i guess they were wondering what the dogs were maybe but uh, it's a public footpath we're allowed to be here with our dogs and uh, unfortunately sometimes you have to put up with this shit. oh i can't say that can i the trouble is that the dog the dogs wouldn't go from us because they were as scared as us so they stayed with us so the cows stayed with us <laughs> um anyway it was very scary very very scary we live to float another day oh there's a proper tree sculpture park oh look isn't it Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I thought we... I'll go through it and show them what you've just done. We've just... just gone through this dial here. <laughs> got this path. And he said to me, mind your head. <laughs> this car at exactly the same place. <laughs> what the heck is that all about? <laughs> oh my God. Hilarious. Yeah, or open the gate maybe. <laughs> Brains of Britain on a walk. <laughs> but I think this has been one of the most dangerous walks we've ever done. Never mind walking in Canada in bear country. We've done a field of chasing cows. The next sign we came across walking through on a public footpath through the country estate of Aston Hall was that shooting is in progress. But we managed to dodge that one. I need to come. <laughs> to find the footpath goes straight across a golf course and we're dodging golf balls. Oh, it's low flying golf balls. <laughs> Back to the safety of the canal after was... jostling with the A5 road as well. Yeah, that was our last, hopefully the last of our dangerous bits of walk. <laughs> two miles back, I think. Another two miles, yeah, so. at least. So here we go. How are you doing, Fran? I'm collected some elderberries this morning and noticed them where we were moored up so I've collected a, a few. I'm stripping them from their stalks because I'm going to make elderberry rob or elderberry syrup which we have talked about on a previous video but is even more important now. It is proven that it is antiviral um, and particularly anti-flu so with Covid around I'm going to make loads of it and we're just going to take a teaspoon a day I think even Rich is agreeing that he'll have it this year. He's not been a lover of it in the past and it's not particularly pleasant, but we're going to have a spoonful every day as long as we can make it last while COVID is around. So you're going to make that foul tasting elderberry rub yep. when we could have lovely elderberry wine. But you can make elderberry wine if you want to. Mm, can't be bothered. No, <laughs> exactly. I have made elderberry wine in the past and it's always been awful, absolutely awful. I don't think I'm a winemaker. So, mm. elderberry rob it is medicine. <laughs> um, there are lots of recipes for elderberry rob or even elderberry syrup. Um, I've just looked through and found one online that suits me. So um, we'll put a link to the recipe that I'm going to use in the description below. What's happening now, Fran? I'm picking uh, damsons. We've just discovered these while the boat is filling up with water at Frankton Junction. And this is a little disused arm and they're hidden away. So they've been left to ripen. They're perfect. So we're going to have well, there's loads. Dams and jam, dams and crumble, at least. Um, it's got to be... Apparently, this area is known for damsons. All there have been so many damson trees all around, but they've not been ripe until now. It's got to be better than elderberry rub. <laughs> Uh, we're getting so many questions about the new boat build and uh, I have to say nothing's happened since we last went to see the boat. 
We've been waiting for our slot, our build slot. Uh, the boat builders, Elton Moss, they've had other projects to finish, other boats to finish. Uh, so now, hopefully, this week, uh, they're starting building. We've had um, plans have had to be finalised for it and we've had paperwork to sign. So things have been ticking along, but obviously they had to finish the work in progress before they could really concentrate on ours. But hopefully now it's underway, isn't it? Yeah, all being well. So we're on our way to have a chat with them, go and have a look, hand over a suitcase of money. And, uh, <laughs> they don't know yet, but we're giving it to them in five pence pieces. <laughs> yeah, we've been saving. And uh, we'll report back as soon as we have something for you. Yes, yes, definitely. So this is my yarn store at the moment, <laughs> underneath the sofa. And as you can see, it's a bit of a jumble of all sorts of bits and pieces. Um, but somehow I've got to find room now for all this, which came from a lovely lady called Lynn, who dropped it off for us the other day, um, which is fantastic. So I've got different colours and sparkly bits and stuff. Um, and a lot of it is cotton, so I can start your, your weaving with that now. But my pride and joy is this one, which was hand spun for me by a lady called Kim in America and she sent this over and the colours are gorgeous. So I've got one more scarf to weave for Etsy and then I'm going to weave this for myself for something just for me. But um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get all this in there. <laughs> you need some judicious it's, tidying up I think. I might, might need to organise a little bit. <laughs> well that's our time on the Montgomery Canal over. Brand's driving, the boat behind. I'm walking the pooches. We've had a lovely time, the weather's been great, done a lot of walking. Uh, but we're heading now back to Frankton Junction, a junction with the Langothlan Canal, turning right and going into Ellesmere. And uh, we are desperate to stock up on food. We were scrapping about for something to eat last night. <laughs> but uh, we really enjoyed our stay here. It's not for everyone. The quietness and the remoteness of it. The lack of facilities, no shops. There is one shop that we walk to. That's about a three mile round trip. Um, but there's two pubs. One's only open at the weekends. And the other one's open all, every day, all day. And the food they serve at the Queen's Head is just wonderful. So uh, we had ourselves a nice lunch there one day. Uh, but looking forward now to moving on. We've uh, been on the Hlangothlan Canal now for two months. And uh, you know, Archie's gone through the hedge chasing something. Come on! There it is. Um, yeah, we've been on the Hlangothlan Canal now for two months. And we're looking forward to doing something new now. So we're going to make haste and get off the canal. And when I say make haste, that will probably take us about a month, knowing what we're like. So yeah, Montgomery Canal, love it. amazing we've been off the Montgomery branch for about half an hour and we've seen more boats in that half an hour on this Langothlan stretch than we did for the whole week on the Montgomery I was uh, hoping it would have calmed down a bit by now but uh, since the kids have gone back to school but now still busy So it looks like we've found another beautiful mooring spot. 
We're just about a mile out of Ellesmere and there are three meres on the edge of Ellesmere. Ellesmere itself, this one which is Blakesmere and a little bit further along there's one called Colesmere. And there is a walk which goes, I think, around all of them, which is about six, seven miles maybe, that we intend to do tomorrow. But this is just a perfect spot for us. It's just a shame the weather's not a little bit warmer to bring chairs down. But this is beautiful. I've got endless supply of fresh water here. The plants on the roof that have survived the end of the season really need watering. So I'm going to bring a bucket down. We have no watering can anymore because it not got knocked off the roof going through a low bridge. That was me. Um, but I'm going to bring the bucket down a few times and fill up and give the plants a little bit of a water on the roof. So it's been a really good year this year for hedgerow fruits. Um, we picked blackberries, elderberries and um, damsons. Haven't yet picked the slows, that's yet to come. But we made lots of blackberry jam. Some of it's already been eaten. Um, some damson jam. And the best thing I think is the elderberry rob or elderberry cordial, elderberry syrup. There's lots of recipes on this for, online for this. Um, we will put a link below to the one that I used and that's what we're going to be having over winter to hopefully ward off the dreaded coronavirus. Um, but they're chuffed. So all we've got to do now is to get some gin, pick some slows, stash that away for Christmas and we're sorted. Well, we're here at the end of the arm in Whitchurch and uh, it seems to me that not many boats come down here. They just uh, whiz past on the main line through to Langoflin. But uh, we've been here now for a couple of days. Uh, we're moving on again today and uh, you just come to the end of the canal. And it used to be, the canal used to continue uh, all the way into Whitchurch, which I guess is about three quarters of a mile from here. But um, there are plans, as, as usual, to extend it and uh, dig out the infrastructure and um, also build a marina for a few boats. That would be great. It really would, I think, encourage more people to come down. Because unfortunately, it's about three quarters of a mile, as I said, into the town. And it's a bit of a walk for some folk. Um, but... Uh, and a lovely town it is as well. So we've really enjoyed our little stay here. No boats whizzing past at full speed. It's been lovely. So we're off now, we're gonna go down Grindley Brook, staircase flight, uh, and do a few more miles. And then um, I think tomorrow or the day after, we'll see us off this canal onto fresh waters again, which we're looking forward to.